Notes 4.1, work and machines. All right, so um, <laughs> we're going to have a little fun here. The definition of work, transfer of energy when a force is applied over a distance. It's measured in joules. Remember, for work to be done, for work to be done, there has to be um, movement in the direction of the applied force. So in this next um, screen, you're going to see uh, somebody applying a force, but no work is being done. Okay, there we go. And oh! So the Canadian Mountie is applying a force to the truck. A little bit ridiculous, actually. And the truck does not move. The Mountie falls on his keister or on his face, but um, no work is being done here. No work is being done. There's an applied force, but there's no movement with the truck, so there's no work being done. Here's the work equation. Work is the amount of energy transferred. Um, work done equals force times distance, um, and it has to move in the direction of the force. Here's the other thing right here. This is huge, okay? This is not in our book, but years ago, when they took the standardized test, the air test first started for physical science, when the air test first started for physical science, this equation was on there. It's in no physical science book I know of. But I put it here, work equals the change in energy. And a triangle means a change in, all right? This is the Greek letter delta. It means a change. So work could equal a change in kinetic energy, okay? Work could equal a change in kinetic energy. But in general, work equals a change in energy. Um, and we're going to talk about energy in the next two sections. So um, work equals force times distance. And that's what it shows in our book. W is the work done. That's measured in joules. Energy transfer is also measured in joules. Um, force, we know, is measured in newtons. And distance in meters. So remember, work is only done. When you looked at my lecture, work is only done with the girl in the softball. When the softball is in her hand, as soon as it leaves her hand, her work is done. Or in this case, um, the work is done. See, he's done. He's done when his hand leaves the book and the papers. Okay. When is work done? Work is done only while his hand is in contact with the material on the desk. Machines. Here's an old picture of a, um, I believe it's an Oliver tractor. Looks like an Oliver to me, but I, I, I can't really see the writing here. Um, it looks white, so that would be an Oliver. And you can see the old uh, cornrow, the old um, combine they used to hook to the front of these old tractors. Um, they got them going here. This picture's from uh, easily from the 50s. Um, I can remember when my grandfather had it hooked to the back of his Alice Chalmers. But anyway, machines. Machines make doing work easier. All right. Uh, imagine picking corn, going out and picking corn. Um, like the Amish do, it's a rough job. They use machines too, but not quite advanced machines as, as we would use. All right. There are types of machines. There are simple machines and compound machines. Simple machines and compound machines. Here's the six simple machines. A pulley, a lever, a wheel and axle, a wedge, an incline plane, and a screw. All right. So um, let's take a look at somebody using a lever. Notice they roll the ball down. They're going to try to shoot a basket and eye face plant. Right. Boom, hit that ball right in the face. Watch again. It's trying to shoot a basket, which is kind of cool uh, thought, but just don't work that way. But that's a lever used in a goofy way. Boom. All right. How about a pulley? Nothing like having a tree house with a pulley. A bike. You can ride that bike up to your tree house. Kind of cool. Next, we have a wheel and an axle, and this is just crazy looking. I don't know what it is about it. Just, wow. I 
could look at it for a while. It's pretty cool. But there's your wheel and axle. Here's the axle. And, of course, the wheel spinning around on that. About an inclined plane. Inclined plane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to go over a ramp with a chopper bike. Not a good idea when you're a big like cider. Mm. Oh, face plant there. Incline plane. A screw. Now, screw is a, a type of incline plane. If you look, there's an incline plane wrapped around the screw. Okay, that incline plane is wrapped around the screw, and that's how a screw is somewhat like an incline plane. A wedge. I know, I just saw this. It's pretty freaking funny. Um, believe it or not, a knife is a wedge. A knife is a wedge with a serrated... Um, a knife is a wedge with a serrated edge. How about that? And um, you can cut a piece of bread easily with a serrated knife, a wedge, but not with a wedge like this. This is ridiculous. Compound machines. I saw this, and I'm just like, this is crazy. They fly it from one machine into another. Watch this. It takes a flat sheet of paper, folds it, and then shoots it into the next machine. That is just so cool. Oh, actually, it looks like it's going in the box under the machine. There's a box over there it's flying into, I believe. Yep, that is so cool. Just cool. <laughs> All right, efficiency. Oh, went too far. Let's go back. Efficiency. Uh, w out divided by W in, where P out or uh, power and work. Um, <laughs> efficiency, work out divided by work in. Okay, work out divided by work in. That's just the easiest way to do it. All right. Um, now this next, this next video is absolutely ridiculous. I want you to watch this guy miss the wood, but yet you can see it switches and it falls apart. If you look real close here, you can see the wood is all ready to go. This guy is claiming, oh, I'm just like you. I'm an outdoorsman. I grew up here. I'm doing this and that and the other thing. And he doesn't even know how to swing an axe. Why is this funny? This guy is actually running for Congress, I believe, in Indiana or Iowa. This is a guy that's wanting to run for Congress telling you that he grew up chopping wood and I grew up doing this and that and the other thing, and he cannot even hit a piece of wood with an ax. He doesn't even know how to swing it. It's like he's afraid he's going to hit his leg. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for these notes on um, work in machines. One more time. Uh, uh, yeah.